Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting and challenging question from British Mathematical Olympiad 2000. We have cube root a plus cube root b minus 1 whole a square equal to 49 plus 20 times cube root 6. Given that a and b are natural numbers. So let's get started by writing factors of 6. So we can write here 2 times 3. Now we have to write our LHS in such a way that our RHS should give us 49 plus 20 cube root 6. If I am writing my left hand side x cube root 2 plus y cube root 3 minus 1 whole square. Will it work for us? Let's expand and check. We know that a plus b plus c whole square formula is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So I will write here x square cube root of 2 square 4 plus y square cube root of 3 square which will be 9 minus 1 whole square so plus 1 plus 2 times the product of first two terms so 2 times x y cube root 2 times cube root 3 we are going to get cube root 6 here then minus 2 times y cube root 3 minus 2x times cube root of 2. Now you can see apart from this term we are getting cube root 4 which is irrational cube root 9 which is irrational apart from cube root 6 cube root 3 irrational cube root 2 irrational so we can not consider this as our expansion so this would be rejected case now if i will consider x cube root 6 plus y cube root 6 will it work for us minus 1 whole square now cube root 6 cube root 6 is common we can write x plus y times cube root 6 minus 1 whole square. Now we can apply a minus b whole square formula here. We will write x plus y whole square cube root 6 is square. So I can write cube root 36 plus b square is plus 1 minus 2 times x plus y times cube root 6. This is our expansion. Now if I will compare 20 cube root 6 only from both the equations. So I will get here x plus y. This must be equal to minus 10. Then only we will get cube root 6. And a and b are natural numbers. So of course x and y must be natural numbers. So sum of two natural numbers cannot be negative 10. So this case is also rejected. Now we will consider x cube root 6 plus y cube root 36 minus 1 whole square. So I will write x cube root 6 plus y cube root 36 minus 1 whole square. Will it work for us? Let us use expansion. So a plus b plus c whole square formula. We will apply, we will get x square cube root of 6 square 36 plus y square cube root of 36 square which will be 6 power 4 plus 1 plus 2xy cube root 6 times cube root 36 cube root 216. 216 is 6 cube. We will get 6. Then minus 2y cube root 36 minus 2x cube root 6. Now we will collect cube root 36 coefficient. We will collect constant which is not along with cube root term. So I will be writing here x square cube root 36 
6 power 4. This would be, we will write 6 times cube root 6. So, 6y square cube root 6 plus 1 plus 12xy. Then we will write minus 2y cube root 36. Then we can write minus 2x cube root 6. Now we have to collect cube root 36 term means the coefficient. We will get x square minus 2y cube root 36. Then we will write cube root 6 coefficient which will be equal to 6y square minus 2x cube root 6 and then without cube root term 1 plus 12xy. Now we will compare our RHS this term. So I will put x square minus 2y as we do not have cube root 36 in our RHS we will put this is 0. 6y square minus 2x this would be 20 and 1 plus 12xy we will put equal to 49. Let's create one system of equations. So we will write here first equation x square minus 2y equal to 0. Second equation 6y square minus 2x equal to 20. Third equation of the system 1 plus 12xy equal to 49. Now we will solve these equations. So x square minus 2y equal to 0. Second equation was 6y square minus 2x equal to 20 and third equation is 1 plus 12 xy equal to 49. So from third equation I can write here 12 xy this would be 49 minus 1 48. So from here we will get xy equal to 48 over 12 value will be 4. Now from this equation I can write y equal to 4 over x. Now from our first equation I can write x square minus 2y equal to 0 or x square equal to 2y. Now y is 4 over x. So 2 times 4 over x equal to x square. We will multiply both sides by x as x cannot be 0, x cube equal to 8 which will be equal to 2 cube. So for real x, x equal to 2. Once x is 2, we will get y equal to 4 over 2. So y will also be 2. Now x is 2, y is 2. We will write our LHS x equal to 2, y equal to 2, left hand side was x cube root 6 plus y cube root 36 minus 1 whole square. This must be equal to 49 plus 20 cube root 6. So x is 2, we will write 2 cube root 6, y is also 2. 2 cube root 36 minus 1 whole square or we can write 2 as cube root 8. So we will be writing cube root 8 times cube root 6 plus cube root 8 times cube root 36 minus 1 whole square or we can club both the radicands cube root 8 times 6 cube root 48 plus cube root 8 times 36 cube root 288 minus 1 whole square. Now we will write equal to cube root A plus cube root B minus 1 whole square. So simply by comparing both sides we can say a equal to 48 and b equal to 288. So I will write here a equal to 48 and b equal to 
288. Now we can swap the value of a and b as per our equation. So we will write our answer a equal to 288, b equal to 48, which is also true solution. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.